How's it going everyone? My name is Charlie. This right here is my Great Dane puppy Roxy, who is officially five months old. And with that being said, in today's episode we're going to be giving a five month update on what it's like to bring a Great Dane into your home. So whether you're thinking about getting a Great Dane, you have a younger puppy, then this might be some things that you can expect. And if you have an older one, then I'm sure you can relate to this. So let's get right into it. And I know what you think I'm going to say in an update video like this. Wow, how time flies. I actually disagree. Those first three weeks of puppy ownership were very tough for me. And they felt like they were taking forever. Because obviously, your dog is not house trained. They're not potty trained. They require so much supervision. But if you're feeling this way, I promise it gets better. One thing that I cannot neglect is just the sheer size that Roxy has grown in such a short amount of time. She's already 60 pounds and already at five months, no countertop of mine is safe. And these nightstands that I have are pretty much useless because she can now knock them over without even trying. She's only going to get bigger. If Roxy's running in my direction, I have to brace for impact and get ready to slow her down or I have to get out of the way. Here's a quick thought on some of my expectations versus reality. I remember when I was doing a deep dive on, you know, the Great Dane's temperament when I was thinking about getting one and just what their behavior is like and I remember reading that they enjoy sleeping for a good portion of the day. And that might be true for when they are adults, but when they are puppies, they have a lot more energy. Roxy is wired for most of the day, and I had to take her on a very long walk and get her some mental stimulation as well, just to get her to be able to sit semi-patiently for this video. But even though that might be obvious to some people, that puppies are going to have more zest and enthusiasm. It was something that I was not exactly planning and did not expect. So expect it so you can plan for it and you can get them a good amount of exercise because a tired dog is a happy dog, but also a tired dog is a well-behaved dog. If you are not getting your dog enough physical or mental stimulation or exercise, then they can be very rambunctious in the home and that's when they might destroy things or they might dig or just overall be more chaotic and rambunctious in the home. But when you get them an adequate amount of exercise, they are very peaceful companions even as a puppy. So quick game of true or false, are Great Danes truly that gentle giant? This statement is 100% true. Everywhere that we go, Roxy thinks she is meeting her new best friend, whether it's people we are passing by on a walk, whether it's random dogs. Everywhere we go, Roxy thinks she's meeting her new best friend and wants to play and meet everybody. And she doesn't understand that everybody might not want to meet you or everybody might not want to play with you. House training. This is going really well. Potty training is pretty much not even a thing anymore that I have to be remotely concerned about. Man, once you get your dog potty trained, things instantly become so much easier. If I'm in or around Roxy and I can generally supervise what she's doing, you know, if she starts chewing on something she shouldn't, you know, she has no problem listening to me to stop and I just redirect that attention to something that she can chew on. I have a nice wide range of toys to give her some different textures to chew on, but in general, house training is going very well. And actually at nighttime, she could sleep on this bed with me. She could sleep by this bed with me. Or if we were falling asleep on a couch to the movie, she could make it through the whole night with no issues. So in conclusion, everyone, if you're thinking about getting a Great Dane and you don't have one already, I would 100% recommend them. They're super affectionate, super loving, but just wonderful companions. As long as you can handle that sheer amount of size and that sheer amount of love, because if you're somebody that is going to be spending, you know, all your time out of the house, it is just going to be really tough on this dog that just wants to show you love and affection and that companionship. But thank you so much for everybody for stopping by. We appreciate all your support. 
and please tune in to our next episode. And thanks for rocking with us.